Do you like to stand out from the rest with DIY decor? If you've been wanting to start, we have the perfect gal to help us. Welcome back, Lindy Perez. You have helped us make so many unique items before. And today we're getting into something for our flowers. This is a flower holder? Yes, it is. And it's something that's super easy and easy to find and source, because that's the best part about creating. You want it to be easy, few little things and make something fabulous. Okay, and these materials, where can they be found and how do we begin with even creating and turning these into, I guess I'm gonna say vases. Yeah, so these are all from a local craft store. Um, you can get them, your Hobby Lobby, your Michaels, and they're paper mache letters. So if you are looking for them online, that would be something to search for. Okay. And so we have here is our letter. Go ahead, we'll put it there. Okay, we're doing sassy because Lindy has been sassy since birth. Yes, so <laughs> okay. we're gonna go ahead and just take some paint and pick your color. There. I'm like, I'm, I've been feeling pink, so pour yes, it here first. We'll go ahead and pour it there. I oh, just have I've a couple of little sponges. Okay. So you can go for the brush or you can go for the sponge. I like the little texture technique. You can just. Ooh, I'm loving this. Yes, I love that color. Mm -hmm. I, so pigmented, nice uh, coverage. It's a great one. And so then, on paper mache though, Lindy, what kind of paint should we be using? Craft paint is just fine. I think um, anything you have already on hand, um, I know right now we're not trying to buy a whole lot of stuff, but I think using stuff that you have on hand, kind of putting those craft little items to work, you know, we have that pile of stuff we're gonna get to. Yes. That's the perfect time to pull some stuff out. Okay. You can get fun textures just kind of by pouncing oh. with this little, Girl, Sponge you're brush. making the simple even more creative. Exactly, and I think like you can do nice <laughs> okay. little. Paint all over the place. Yeah, you can do nice little. Um, you can also do this with washi tape, or we can go kind of for that Beyonce effect with the little mirrored uh -huh. um, glass that you can put yeah, on it. Yeah, like that disco the ball. Disco kind ball. Of. I'm yes. All about that. Exactly. Those have been hard to come by since her whole hat went viral. Oh, so man, definitely want... something to look for. Okay, so, so we kind of gave you an inspiration for your first letter, but the finished practice here and what you use is yes. a little blade to cut yes, holes. Yes, so I have just a little exacto knife here and we'll use that to cut the holes in the top and okay. that's how it'll become our vase. Okay. And for more stability, we're gonna just add a little dab of glue. Okay. Right here. Okay. And then you can start just gluing the letters, the letters together. together. So you can make this like a desk yes. piece. Or Book you can have shelf. it say other words other than my name. Yes. I mean, you guys can totally use my name <laughs> if you want. I think it's always kind of fun too. Like, you know, if you did the word of the year, I know that's really popular for some people. You oh. can have that on your bookshelf. Okay. I'm always up for personalized things. I think that is always fun. Super, super cute. So Lindsay. lots of options with this one. I love that. Well, yeah. thank you for showing us this, but now this could be something for the plant people or yes. even you want to use this as storage, right? Yes, yeah, so these are wood. So if you're gonna if you're gonna move for the water route, I would just put another little plastic cup in here. Okay. And you can fill it with water and you can make it a little nice face. Okay. But we've got confetti here. I don't know about you, but I love things that sparkle. I'm gonna use some Mod Podge because yes. that's like the, everyone's favorite thing. And so what we do is use this, put it on the wood, and mm -hmm. then we just add the confetti. Yeah, so nice generous coat with the Mod Podge because okay. this is a chunkier confetti, so you wanna make sure that it sticks. Okay. Perfect. And then? And then we're just gonna grab a little roll bit it of You can roll it. it or you can grab it. I'll grab it because I've been a, a little messy mess. gal here. Yes. Okay. Well, Lindy, these are wonderful crafts, and I know people can get more inspiration through your Instagram page yes. at Lindy Original. Mm -hmm. Do you have a website as well where people I can? I do. It's shopsassysincebirth.com. That's where you can find a lot of my different work, and then at local pop ups. Well, thank you so much for being with us, yeah. Lindy. We appreciate it, y'all. She is so crafty. <laughs> I am inspired. Thanks again, girl. Thank you.